Hey guys, it's Nancy just doing a quick um, yard sale haul. I was out this morning. Um, we went up to the big town of Clifford, Ontario for their town wide. They did have a lot of sales. Um, a couple of them were pretty good. I didn't buy a lot. Um, just a couple, a couple of items uh, here. So this is Rust Effect Paste. I'm not sure what it's going to do. I'm hoping that I can use it like um, texture paste. So there's three different colors in there. So there's this olive green color, dark olive. Oh, they've got names. Brown, dark olive, and dusty. Let's see what it looks like. Well, we'll have to give that a shot. So that was three dollars. I got this set. Um, set of Tim Holtz um, stamps All right. for two bucks. It, they don't even look like they've been used. Yeah, they they haven't been used. So I'll take that for two bucks. I don't know that I'll use them either, but I got this cute little um, crossbody bag. It's a Vera Bradley, and it's pink, which is my signature color. And I think this is going to be perfect when I do the um, 50, 50 mile yard sale that's coming up in two weeks. Two weeks, that's you will find me in New York State in the Finger Lakes district looking for bargains. And I thought that's going to be perfect, so I don't have to carry a purse. I can just crossbody. Then on the way home, we stopped at a thrift store. Got some kind of weird items. So these are I paid three ninety nine for this. This huge bag of um, iron on transfer patterns. Uh -huh. mm. Am I going to use them? Who knows? But I nearly bought a book last week that would have cost me $10. Let's try that again. Um, yeah, I nearly bought a book last week to um, that had pattern uh, embroidery patterns in it, and I would have had to, you know, photo photocopy them and then trace them and all that other stuff. This, the, If I use them... Oh, look, there's a little drawing there. That's interesting. So there could be... Oh, look at the birds. Birds and butterflies. So there could be other drawings in here. Oh, this one's got stitches. What's going on with this one? Oh. Wouldn't that be neat? in a journal. Just like that. I see a little thread there. A spool of thread. Stitching time saves nine. Some of these are just pages that were cut out of a book, and some of them are transfers. Water lily scarf. Oh. Okay. Very cool. 
nice paper too. I am, I am thrilled. Initially, I was apologizing <laughs> because I spent a terrific amount of money. Look at this. That's fun. I like this envelope. And it says embroidery lettering. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Attractive crochet design suitable for towels or pillow slips. Hmm. This looks like paper. Yeah, this is going to be a big something. Don't know. Oh, cool. There's more of these uh, envelopes. Love that. There's some more crochet edgings. Okay. Yeah, I feel better about this. I'm okay. Gorsi Embroidery Journal, 1927. <gasps> it says French and English edition. Whoa. Paris and Montreal. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good job, Nance. Good job. I knew I was going to be lucky today. There's another one! This one's 1926. Hot iron processes. Oh, this one's huge. It's really big. Well, I think it says lilac pattern. Basket 1947. These are more transfers. Oh, look at that. So cute. I like the the edge there. Well, I am just tickled with my purchase. There's a clown there. So there's a lot of variety for sure. Okay. The next thing is an even weirder purchase. But hopefully I will have good luck like I did with this one. So this was $3.99. The next one I think is $4.99. So, uh, it says it's quilting patterns, and it came in this big old box, and it's mostly, um, like cardboard cutouts for drawing <clears throat> quilting patterns on, qu oh, on quilts, but... There is some well, this is a photocopy of so this is this is probably came from a 
like a package of um, batting. The batting sometimes would have, um, oh look it's got stitches. The batting would sometimes have um, a wrapper that would have quilt patterns. So I did see some envelopes in here. Dominion Wadding Company. And then this one says Treasure Craft Patterns. So there's a bunch of different things in there. Putting a quilt in frame, that's interesting. The London Free Press, 1972. And there's other little pictures and magazine clippings and envelopes in there. So mainly I got this for the, pa the paper. I don't think I'm going to have any use for the quilt designs. Oh, this one's got some fabric in it. Let's have a look. Well, those are definitely vintage fabrics. I love old bags like this. Newspaper. I'll make slip covers. This is definitely a wrapper from uh, Quilt Bat. Dollar sixty seven from I think that would have been Kresge's. I don't Oh, 100% cotton. Wow. Well, there's the pattern. I don't think I've had anything like this before. There's another one. But I saw this and I thought I need to have this British textile mills. Oh, look at that piece of paper. That is um, carbon, so I'm going to toss that before I make a mess. Pansy.
Oh, this is a butterfly. I think I'm not sure about that. There's another pattern, 1941. Make this one white, it says. <laughs> well, would you look at that? I could put that in a journal just like that and make it a pocket. lots of goodies in here that I will enjoy. Oh, child's leggings. Gosh. That's an oldie bit of goodie. Lots of little pieces of paper and embroidery apron. So I will just have to go through. Oh, look at that. That's probably 1920s as well. News from nineteen thirty. Well, it I it, I think I got I think I got five dollars worth. I'm completely satisfied that with that. And I got two bags of buttons. They were each a dollar ninety-nine. And not that I need buttons, but there are some sh shell, but old antique shell buttons in there, and some, you know, vintage plastic ones like that. So I will have, to, yeah. There's a there's a lot of pearl ones in here, so I'm gonna have to go through and sort them out. Um, all three of those are, four of those are pearl. That one is. There's some interesting metal ones in there. If I find anything super exciting, I will be sure to show you either here or I will do, um, some photos for Instagram. But, uh, yeah, so that is my teeny tiny little uh, yard sale haul. Yard sale slash thrift store haul. Alrighty. Take care. We'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.